But like I said, we don't have no place to, to, to coach our kids. You see, right now, I don't even think Ash made it, Althea made it, you know, because they had all the stuff right there with them. Like I'm down with the Williams sisters. We had a, a father. Every day, they play from 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 at night. And the father said, I love you, baby. I love you, dog. I love you, baby. And that goes on all day long. So you have to have that kind of support. So the kids today don't have that. Like, I, like we had J.J. Jackson, great player. Uh, Reebok gave him a million dollars, but he had nobody behind him. So they, had, they took the million dollars back. So last year, a guy by the name of Neely, uh, I understand Neely, very good player. He, he, he beat uh, Dow Young in the tournament that real easy in, in the Sugar Bowl. And so I, I saw his mother there and I said, well, how's he doing? She said, well, I need help. So I said, well, I can't help you right now because I used to help all, of, all, of, all the players about white and black. So I said, I, I can't help you now, but can he go to school? So I asked him, could you, you know, why don't you go to school? He said, no, I don't want to go to school. <laughs> so I don't hear from him at all. So this is what happened to all the good black players. You see, so now I can't find any black players out there because they, they want to play football, baseball, basketball. And I couldn't blame them because it's much, much cheaper and you can get your money right, contract right away. So this is what happened to us today. We, we got to get, I don't know if we ever get back because integration is here. And they got to integrate. See, whether you like it or not, but they're still trying to make it, you know, on their own. That's a tough deal. 